Since YouTube doesn't pay my bills yet, part of my job as a PC builder and technician is to recover data. And you can actually charge quite a bit of money for that. People completely panic when they lose their stuff. And with very little effort, if you know what you're doing, you can end up with a happy client and also making a decent profit. Data recovery genuinely isn't that difficult at all and very often just comes down to knowing how to properly use a simple software. The thing is, even if you're not open as a technician and actually offering this service, if you are building computers for long enough, you will end up needing to recover some files. So you may as well learn how to do it. So today in this video, I'm showing you guys how I do it. And it's a monetizable skill and it's very simple. After all, in 2025, these softwares have gotten so good that you no longer have to go in CMD and boot into some Linux distro just to operate the data recovery tool. The software I'm gonna show you how to use today is Wondershare Recovery. And now with full transparency, this is a sponsored segment. So it is actually a software I have been using myself, but before making this video, I reached out and they are gonna pay me to show you how to use their software. Okay, that said, it is a software I actually recommend. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know I don't usually do sponsored bits, so you can trust me on this one. And before you ask, yes, it works perfectly fine on Windows 11 and you don't need to go through DOS or bootable USB. With that said, let's get into it. Now, Recoverit is an AI-powered tool which is gonna allow you to recover deleted files, lost files, even from your micro SD, corrupted files, and it even has the ability to bring back full partitions. It works with everything, internal hard disks, external hard disks, USB keys, SD cards from your camera. Basically, if there are files on it, this software can recover it. Now, why is it AI powered and is it a gimmick? Kind of like when, you know, there are launches of games and stuff. Well, actually not, because if you've been delving into data recovery a bit yourself, you know, it's not as much about what to recover because you usually you scan with the software and it's gonna just uh, find a whole bunch of files. But the problem is gonna be actually seeing which files to get because generally you're going to get mixed files with no names no path and you're going to have to spend hours by hand to find the right files but what ai does is basically it allows you to filter it's going to actually help you to see the exact files you need which is not something you can do usually you're just going to end up with a bunch of files which you're going to have to go through yourself so this is going to save you a lot of times and of course if you're doing this as a service this means you can get a higher hourly wage, and it's why I like it. All right, now let's actually get into it with some practical usage and the actual tutorial. So I'm gonna use a simple SSD where I put some video files and then deleted them, and we're gonna see if we can recover them completely. Once you open recover it, it lists every drive you can find. You pick the one you messed up, click start, and it begins scanning. The cool part is it doesn't just look for names, but it uses AI deep scan to rebuild actual data, video, photos, even project files, which most recovery tools just skip. If you had to do the parsing by hand, it took a lot of time. You can see previews of what it finds real time, and when it's done, you just hit recover and choose where to save everything. Make sure you choose a different drive, not the one you're recovering from. In the case of my drive, it did find all the footage and even the thumbnails and some projects files that I was working on. Recovery actually supports over 2000 file types, which is actually insane. And again, it's gonna help you categorize them so you can find them easily. Even the raw camera files, which are generally an issue to work with, are easy to parse. You can bring back archives, OBS recording, and even damaged video files. The software actually helps you to reconstruct them as well, which is crazy because sometimes you can recover something with all the software, but it's gonna be different bits of the file. And you're gonna have to put them together by hand. Well, Recover It also does that for you. There is also a dedicated video recovery mode. It's called Advanced Video Recovery Mode, which automatically reconstructs damaged video files frame by frame. It's super useful if your SD camera has issues and you have to go through it. Trust me, I've been there. And uh, yeah, sometimes before using this software, I, I was actually going to re-record because it's easier than just reconstructing everything. And uh, yeah, here's the recovered clip right there, working perfectly fine and full quality as well. Now, I did try a lot of recovery tools before because again this is my job i try to change all the time but this is what i've settled with because the other ones pretty much none has an ai tool like this that works fine this is a very big game changer it saves a lot of time but more importantly they usually have a graphic interface that looks like they're made in 2004 or they need to be operated via dos directly with commands and honestly if i have to be there typing commands i would just pick up software engineering and not 
be here being a technician. This software actually feels like something modern. And it actually works like a solid piece of software. It's not just looks. It's fast, relatively fast. It's reliable and it doesn't have any ads or bloatware. So if you build PCs, fix them for clients, or if you just need to recover files for yourself, this is my recommendation as of today. I will leave a link to it down in the description, which again is going to help me pay my bills and hopefully one day transition to making YouTube videos full time. So if you guys want to support the channel, you can go check it out. Thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. And thanks to Wondershare for saving me from reshooting my previous video. Now we can go back to washing computers. And I hope this simple tutorial is going to help you if you ever need to recover files. It's a pretty simple procedure, guys. You just need the right software. Need the right software, plug the drive in, scan, analyze, save the files you want, and basically you're done. It doesn't even need a tutorial. You just need to get some working piece of software, okay? But as usual, in all my videos, I want to hear what you guys think. If you guys had a bad experience with the software, also let me know down below. Or if you have something else you guys want me to try, even if this is a sponsored bit, please let me know, and I will give it a look. And with that said, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.